you beautiful people of YouTube. So today I'm bringing you a Halloween tutorial and this is my first Halloween tutorial and so I'm really really excited. This was asked for a friend actually. She asked me for a cheetah kind of wearable look for a Halloween party and that's what I'm gonna do. So uh, if you're interested in that kind of looks, good and keep watching because you are gonna love it. But if you're looking for kind of a bit of a more drastic transformation then don't worry because if you can notice this green hairline in me it's because I've been doing some face painting yeah yeah so without further ado I'm gonna start with the cheetah tutorial so first of all we want to contour our faces so to do my base I'm gonna use this two products this is the heart candy glamour flash and medium to highlight my face and to contour, I'm going to use the Rimmel London Wake Me Up Concealer in medium. So what you want to do is basically just put this on the areas you want to contour and the lighter color in the areas you want to highlight. So you know the drill. Um, this is really self-explanatory. I can do a whole video on contouring if you actually want to, but I just do like my normal contour routine, which I don't do that often and yeah I'm just gonna place all of this in this place and I'll be back with you in a second so now that I've placed my products where I want to highlight and contour I'm just gonna blend this with a little sponge and the reason why I wanted to contour instead of just applying a regular foundation and then doing like powder contour and powder highlight is because like I think cheetahs are like really fierce and if you're a cheater prison, then you want to be fierce because, you know, haven't you watched Cheater Girls when you were younger? Yeah, got my drill, got my drill. So I'm just going to blend this and I'll be right back again. So I already blended it out and I um, powder on top of my highlight. And I'm just going to quickly show you what I'm going to do with the contour so that it's a little bit more noticeable. And I'm just going to pick my pop. Beauty Sunkiss Bronzer in Secret Sunshine and in a big fluffy brush I'm just gonna pick it up and I'm gonna dang it and I'm just gonna just sweep it across my face like I want a really nice bronzy glow overall besides you know the contouring and this bronzer really gives a really nice glow so you don't need to apply this too much if you don't like feel like but I just really like this so now that we're done with the face practically I am gonna go right into the eyes and I'm just gonna do one and I'll be right back so it's a lot easier for you to know what I'm gonna do so please hold on okay so starting with the eyes I already applied a uh, Skin Tone Base, which is Sub Oak Curve Paint Pot by MAC. And I am gonna start with a transition color. This is a color from my Coastal Sense 252 palette, and it's just a kind of yellowish mustard color that I'm gonna place on my crease. And I'm gonna bring it back and forth. Just creating a nice transition shade and also a nice haze for eyeshadow to sit on later on. It's a pretty basic eyeshadow actually, but it's nice to have a transition color always because <laughs> it makes blending a lot easier. So once you have your mustard color right there, um, you want to pick a bronzy color that has this that same uh, mustard hint and I'm just going to use my finger to place it right in the center of my lid and then bring it all the way over the lid. And this color is really complement together to bring the, the cheetah look. We're just going to blend those two together in the crease. And just to deepen it out a little bit more, I'm going to bring a kind of um, brown with a maroon undertone and I'm going to place it in the crease. Just a tiny, tiny bit and I'm going to blend it. 
And with a flat shader brush, I'm going to pick a dark brown. And I'm going to put it on my outer corner and on my inner corner. What I try to do with this is just kind of recreate the, pa the cheetah pattern on my eyelid, but not make it too noticeable so that the look is nice and balanced. So I'm just going to blend that out. You can reapply highlight, even though I already applied a highlight while doing my brows, I'm going to apply a white matte eyeshadow as my highlight. Oops. Highlight. And right then for the eyeliner, what you want to do is pick any matte, um, any liquid eyeliner that dries matte. This is because you can also pick a one that's glossy, but I just like matte a little bit better. And I can totally not do this on camera, but no, I can't do this. You're just, you just want to create a cat eye or like a really feline wing like I did here. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. So I already did my cat eye. As you can see, it didn't, well, it turned out better than I actually expected. So right now I'm just going to line my inner rims with a really dark uh, black eyeliner. This is very pigmented and I love it. So you want to bring it into your waterline as well. And with a really small tip, with a really small detailed angle brush, you want to bring it into your tear duct like so, like creating that sharp edge. Like creating a sharp edge like that. I will go over it later. And then with the same flat shader brush that we took before, you took the brown eyeshadow and you just drag it along your lower lash line. Your lower lash line. To give it a little bit more of a glam touch, you can add some glitter. This one that I'm going to use is by e.l.f. It's called Copper. I just use it because it's real pretty. And I haven't used it in a long time. <laughs> I really, really like this glitter. So, I'm just gonna apply loads of mascara on my lower, on my top and bottom lashes, and then I'm gonna apply false lashes, which are, by the way, Ardell Demi Wispies, and I'll be right back. And so, this is the final eye look. Winking, winking, so that you can see the eye look. So yeah, I already started drawing some uh, cheetah prints on my face just because I didn't want this video to take forever because it's already taking really long enough. So uh, what I basically did, they are not already painted on, but I took my liquid liner, the same I used to do my cat eye, and what I basically did was I did C's. Like, I, I, it's better if you hold it horizontally because it will release more product than in like a more s wild way so you draw a C a vertical C and then you put like lines where the ends of the C are but the lines don't have to be like very exact like you can draw lines and then like join them and you don't realize it but you have a C <laughs> so this actually took me forever and this is not turning out the way I want it to, but uh, as you do your cheetah print, um, the eyeliner might dry just because you're doing it on top of foundation. And so you can go over it with uh, black eyeshadow, or you can do it also with um, some gel eyeliner, and that will be much easier, but it will take a lot more detail. So once you have your C's or cheetah prints, you want to take a flat shader brush and that color that we put in our crew in our creases, and you just want to dab them. Uh, you just want to fill the marks in. So this will probably take me forever but I'm doing it just so that you see. You just have to like pad them in. 
it's really really easy to do and it's really fun too so yeah and if you want more dimension you can pick the brown shade and like put it in a little bit of the in what would be the inner part of the C so you put the brown shadow like more deeply in this is just to give farther more detail but you don't have to do it if you don't want to so that will be it for the cheetah print if you think you added too much brown shadow you can just pick your fluffy brush and blend it all out you can also add some glitter to your cheetah print because glitter is fabulous and you want it everywhere. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glitter because glitter is fabulous. Just a tiny bit. Remember that you will have to take all of this out of your face. And yeah, you can do this all over your face or just in one side like I did. Um, if you want your other cheek not to be too flat, you can also pick some golden highlighter like this one from Physicians Formula that looks like a corset. And whoop, brush. And you can just sweep it so that you have a really nice glow furthermore on your chin. And you know, a little bit on your nose because highlighting is always good. So, um, yeah, to finish off, I just wanted to recommend a lip color really quickly. I have a drugstore and a high end. Thing. But um, for the drugstore, I chose a pinkish nude, which is Revlon Color Bust, Revlon Color Bust Matte Balm in Elusive. But today I'm gonna use a Max Twig. That is a color that I've been loving recently, and supposedly this is a Kylie Jenner lip color. And sorry that I'm not wearing a lip liner, but you know I got time for that. I think. I think that this is a really nice way to like play it with a little bit of a darker color which without going all the way but if you want to be like really bold go with a really nice red so yeah you can also add gloss if you'd like to but uh, sorry this is the final look excuse my hair once again um, this is the final look I hope you like it if you want to if you have an another suggestions for any Halloween tutorials or if you want me to make any random video for them more um, you can just comment down below even if you want to s criticize me or anything I want to grow as a channel and I will receive any positive criticism s uh, any constructive criticism sorry and so yeah please like this video if you you know liked it um, tell your friends to give it a thumbs up to share it if you want to I'm not like telling you to but it will be nice of you do. So uh, subscribe to my channel for further more videos. And to keep updated on my life and my makeup skills, if you think they're good, please say they're good. So yeah, I hope you have a good rest of the day, a good rest of the week, a good rest of the month, a good rest of the year. God bless you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.